I was at the farmer's market last weekend and I got halibut egg. I was so excited because these were humongous and I decided I tried two different recipes. One similar to an Indian item called paniyaram and the other just an omelette. Let's see which one was yummy. Before I jump on, I do want to add that fish eggs are the very few sources of fat soluble vitamin D and vitamin B12. When I say that, it is also good for the brain function and to help metabolize your food for energy. Which means adding this to your diet can help you stay satisfied and prevent overeating, which can promote weight management. Now let's get into action. The first thing I'm going to do is to cut open this egg. I'm going to discard this thin outer layer. It's just a small film. I'm going to remove that and I'm going to take out the egg. I'm just going to take a small spoon and scoop it all out. It's just very, very simple. Let's see what to do. Similarly, I'm going to scoop out all the eggs and remove the outer layer. I'm going to transfer all the fish egg into a bowl. Take a fork and give it a quick whisk. Now to this, we'll add our ingredients. Curry leaf, a small bunch, chopped ginger, it's finely chopped, just one teaspoon of finely chopped ginger. 1 teaspoon of finely chopped green chilies and 1 cup finely chopped onions. To this I am adding 2 eggs followed by 1 teaspoon of salt and quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder. Now let's mix it all up. My mom got me this cast iron utensil from India. I use it to make paniyaram. To this, I'm going to add drops of oil. You can use any oil. Here, I used olive oil. You just want to make sure each hole gets at least one or two drops of oil. So when we make this item, it's going to be crispy and of course the oil is going to add lot of flavor if you are a fan of coconut oil just go ahead it's going to be amazing take a small scoop and pour portions of the mixture into it make sure you don't fill it up all the way because it's going to rise a little bit Now to this, we are going to add a few drops of oil. You can actually also use a spray bottle and spray oil on the top. Now we'll close it with a lid. Actually, to make it even more transparent so that you can see what's happening, I'm going to replace it with a glass lid. You can turn it to the other side if you would like both sides to be crunchy. I prefer to eat it this way so I'm just going to scoop everything and take it out. Fish eggs usually take a longer time to cook but since the, you know this utensil is very specific it has smaller holes it was just fast enough and I always have my heat on medium so um, this one is cooked just to perfection. 
Let's transfer everything into a bowl. I enjoyed it with hot and spicy sauce. Kids will definitely love it. The next way I'm going to make it is quite simple. I used an apakal or you can use a flat pan. This one is specific to making another item called apple. I just pour the batter into it and give it a swirl. That's it. Keep it aside and make sure the flame is on medium. Add some oil and close it with a lid. It's five minutes. Let's open the lid. The other side is cooked. Now let's flip it and give it two more minutes. And our omelet is ready. I hope you enjoyed watching it. You will definitely enjoy eating this recipe. Try out both and let me know which one is your favorite. My personal favorite is the small one because it was crunchy. And I felt more like eating a snack. But I warn you, it's going to keep you so full. I had to skip my dinner. Hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to like, share and subscribe. See you in another video.